All right, we're in uh, Job, Job, chapter four. Brother D. Rail, take it away. All right, chapter four. Well, what I'm going to get out of this first, I'm just glancing. Uh, goes back to what you were saying. When you know we get upset, we don't want to hear people talking to us because we're afraid. You know, they're we're going to snap on them. Like, dude, leave me alone. This is what I'm kind of got out at the beginning of this. So here we go. And Eliphaz the Temanite answered and said, if one tries a word with you, would you become impatient? But who is able to withhold himself from speaking? See, you have instructed many and you have made weak hands strong. Your words have raised up him who was stumbling and you have strengthened the weak knees. But now it has come to you and you are impatient. It strikes you and you are troubled. Is not your reverence, your trust, the integrity of your way, your of ways, your expectancy? Remember, please. Who? Hold on. Now he's talking to. He's talking to Job, right? Yeah, I would say so. But remember, these guys were quiet for what seven days. Right now they're talking. Now they're like, okay. Now it's time. Now it's time to open up our mouth. You know, because because we're brothers and you're my boy. And they've been friends for a while, and he's saying stuff he has done. He has uh, raised people up. He's strengthened people. Yeah, I was just about to say that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so I was just glancing at. So he's he's very good. Uh, you know, speaking the word in a way, keep raising people up. It's pretty cool. All right, where was it? Seven. Remember, please, who being innocent has ever perished? And where have the straight ones ever been cut off? According to what I have seen, those who plow wickedness and, and so suffering, reap the same. Through the breath of Eloah, they perish, and the spirit of his nostrils, they are consumed. The roaring of the lion and the voice of the fierce lion, but the teeth of the young lion shall be broken. An old lion perishes for lack of prey, and the cubs of the lioness are scattered. And unto me a word was secretly brought, and my ear received a little of it. Amid thoughts from visions of the night when deep sleep falls on men, fear came upon me and trembling causing my bones to shake greatly. Then a spirit passed before my face. The hair on my body stood up. It stood still, but I could not discern its appearance. A form was before my eyes, silenced. Then a voice I heard. Is mortal man more righteous than Eloha? Is, more, is man more clean than his maker? Look, he puts no trust in his servants. And he charges his messengers with strain. How much more those who dwell in the house of clay, whose foundation is in the dust, who are crushed like a moth? From morning till evening they are beaten down. They perish forever with no one regarding. Are not the cords of their tents pulled up? They die without wisdom. Now going back to the, when he saw that, would that be like, would that be the devil himself or what? I'm I'm questioning that just because what he's what he's saying to him is you know you you strengthen others like you were mentioning he's talking about his character and then he's saying don't you um, in verse verse six isn't your piety isn't there confidence in that isn't your integrity what gives you hope but when he says in verse seven, I feel like he's almost kind of scoffing him a little bit right now. Like in the sense, like rebuking, like saying this came about because of sin. That's what I'm gathering that his friend is saying. This has come about because of sin. Like the, the innocent haven't perished. The upright aren't cut off. Um, you're right. Yeah, 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 you're right. I was wrong. I, I was thinking this was the That's friend it. stepping up to try to help Job. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Verse eight, when he says, according to that, what I've seen, those who plow iniquity, those who who, who mm -hmm. sow sin, so tr uh, excuse me, those who who um yeah, so so sin, so trouble, they reap the they reap same. What they sow, so. so reap what yep. they sow exactly. So you do evil stuff, bad stuff happens to you. Exactly. So I feel like he's um his friend right now is is getting on him now. Regarding your question, I was thinking the same thing that he wasn't that he's not hearing from Yahua, but that it is Hasatan because. So I'm I'm questioning that as well. To be honest, I, I'm leaning more on, on that side. Yeah, I'm 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 I was com I, oh, you're muted. I'm sorry. I wasn't sure, but now after you explaining, I'm definitely leaning on that side as well. Go ahead, brother D. Rail. 
Yeah, I was, what she like she said like like it, it maybe he went into his his friend's body and now he's trying to like say you know like man look what's going on you know like getting Joe to feel like dang come on it's like he just wants him to curse say or curse Yahuwah real so bad you know and he still ain't having it you know I'm not gonna he's not gonna curse him and then like the spirit passed before my face that um, was that the spirit of you know the devil or what. Yeah, verse verse fifteen. It says, "And a spirit passed by before my face. The hair of my flesh stood up. Mm. It stood still, but I couldn't discern its appearance. Mm. A form was before my eyes. Silence. Then I heard a voice. But then this is what what it says. It says, "Shall a mortal man be more just than Elvi? Mm. Shall a man be more pure than his Maker?" So, mm. I, but but is this one of those like a good um, spirit, a messenger? I don't, I don't, I don't know because it's. The way he's making him respond to to Yob and not being right is is what I'm questioning. No, it's the friend. This this spirit is saying, "Don't listen to the, your friend of yours." No, this is the friend. The friend was the one that got the spirit. The fr the friend is the one that got. Yes, yeah, the one. The spirit probably. Verse fifteen. Then the spirit passed before this my all, face. This is all LFS speaking. He's speaking. speaking? This is all LFS speaking to Yob. Then kind of. A form was dies on her voice. Shall more men be just more just than Oh wow. If that's the friend speaking, that's the devil. That <laughs> ain't nothing but the devil. I think that's Satan. Because yeah. it says, um, you know, I remember in the book of Job, it's like, were you I was there when he created the foundations of earth and it goes all into this like mystical creation stuff. And it had me thinking, well, Satan was there. He's one of the angels that was created in the creation. So he would be there when you were created the earth. But that's when he was talking to you. Oh, okay. <laughs> because he says, he says though, I was there when he created. So it's kind of like third person. So it'd be weird for you who to say that. It's almost as if he's like making him doubt like is it a mortal man what um more is a more a mortal man more righteous than yahuwah like what the serpent did to eve in the garden for example like we're not gonna be you know you're you're gonna be like elohim so to speak and i think it's like he's saying um are we, is he as a man going to be more righteous than Eloha or Elohim, or Yahuwah, like as if he's to say that is he going to be like Elohim, like he did in the garden, where you're going to be like Elohim if you eat the fruit of the, the knowledge of good and evil. Get what I'm saying? I'm hearing you, but I'm I think I'm getting what you're saying, but I might be thinking about it a little bit different. Can you, can you say that again? <laughs> no, I was saying like it says in, in, in Genesis, you know how the serpent comes and he deceives Eve and says that if you eat the fruit of knowledge of good and evil, you're going to be like Elohim. And it seems like this spirit, whatever the spirit is right here is saying, are you more righteous than Elohim? Like he's instilling fear or doubt into his mind in a way. You get what I'm saying? I'm not fully following because th this is what I'm thinking. One, the spirit's talking to LFS. I don't think this, this spirit is talking to you. So I don't think it's, it's if that's the hymn that you're referring to. But I, what I, what I, I'm just gonna throw this out there as my my idea. What I'm thinking is, if the spirit is is not Yahuwah, then it would be saying more like um, making Eliphaz question Yo's righteousness, and that's why that's why Eliphaz is is saying, well, this has to come from iniquity. Do you that that that's how I'm taking it. Like it's almost like a how, what do you call that on um, reverse psychology? Like that that's what I'm gathering. Is is man more righteous than Elohim? And just puts that that thought in Eliphaz and saying, huh, and maybe it's not because this this has all happened because Yod is righteous. It has to be because of sin. And then he speaks from 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 that. I mean, that's 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 kind of what I'm. Where I'm I have I have a thought. 
because um, this reminded me in the book of John, where the disciples automatically, without a spirit of being inside them, they said, what did the man do to be blind? And Yahushua said, neither did this man sin nor his parents, but that the works of Yahuwah might be revealed in him. It's not, and I think it's a natural human occurrence to say, oh, all this is happening to him because he sinned against Yahuwah, right? Like all of us have that natural inclination to right there go 360 and be like, this person's a sinner. But sometimes Yahuwah does stuff and allows stuff to happen in people's lives for him to be glorified, if that makes any sense. And that's what Yahushua is saying in John chapter 9, verse 2. So I think this guy, Eliphaz, just, it, it could be the spirit telling him to say it, or it could be him himself being human, you know, being... What about verse 18, where it says, Look, he puts no trust in his servants, and he charges his messengers with strain. Mm. And, when the, and the web, web says, Behold, he puts no trust in his servants. He charges his angels with error. Now he thought, how would he? Why would how would a human know that? Yeah, that's true. That could be the spirit saying that through Eliphaz. Yeah, he charged the, the angels like was, this. I, you know what I mean? I was seeing this as him saying that uh, uh, mortal man does that. Yeah, mortal man put uh, doesn't put his trust in his servants and 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 charges his angels with error. But if it was Satan saying that about Elohim, that would be the red flag. Yeah. If it was that. Yeah. That would definitely be the whoop, I know who you are. Exactly. Yeah, right. You just expose yourself, and Satan does that all the time. He has that one lie, that one a lot of it is truth, and then that one little thing he throws in there, you yeah. go, oh, red flag. Yeah. And then he's like, oh damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I did it again. But this spirit essentially is saying that. How, how are you to be blameless when Yahuwah doesn't even trust his own angels to be blameless? And that's essentially what this spirit is saying. Well, isn't He's the saying this is what the spirit him? said. This is, is what the evil spirit isn't, said. Isn't the spirit in Eliphaz and causing him to speak these words? No, no, the spirit it came around him. Oh. It came around him or whatever. While he was sleeping. Now he's awake. I, I don't believe that he's possessed by the spirit right now. I'll just say No, the spirit is talking. Verse 16, it stood still, but I couldn't discern its appearance. Mm -hmm. This image is before him. A form was before my eyes. Silence. Then I heard a voice saying. So he's repeating what he heard this spirit say. Mm -hmm. And it's, then it goes on into that. So I'm going to lean more with he's using reverse psychology like my wife says. So he's saying some truth here. He's saying he's talking about is mortal man more just than Elohim? Behold, he, mortal man, verse 18, puts no trust in his servants. He charges his angels with error, or his, me his messengers with error. How much more those who dwell in houses of clay, whose foundation is in the dust, who are crushed before the moth? I don't know. It could be both. It could be the other way. I could be wrong. It, yeah. could be, it could be he's saying Elohim is a bad guy. He charges his messengers with error. Uh, and yeah. he doesn't trust his servants. He's saying, how much more sinful are human beings? Right, how much more sinful? <laughs> like, that's yeah. basically what he's saying. He's saying, who are you to be all prideful? Who are you to say that you're better than angels? Between morning and evening, they are destroyed. They perish forever without any regarding it. Isn't their tent cord plucked up within them? They die in that without wisdom. Well, I'm definitely sensing this is an evil spirit for sure. Um, and this is taking this guy, Eliphaz, from what he was thinking to confirming his thoughts and accusing Job of reaping what he's sown in the sense of Job must have done some evil to deserve all this. And that spirit came and whispered into his friend's ear to kind of confirm those uh, doubts. Which the devil does a lot. And he does that. <laughs> That's kind of what I got. And yeah. it comes and it comes in experiences. I don't care how spiritual your encounter is. If it ain't coming from truth, I ain't receiving it. I don't care if, if lights were stars and glitter was all Bitter. around your bedroom. <laughs> and freaking your hair is all <laughs> popping up and stuff. I don't give a crap. If you're speaking junk, I'm not receiving it. 
Mm-hmm. Go away. All right, anyway, that's me. I digress. Can I? <laughs> why, I think, why, why I think this is more in the past and it's within Job, so I'm, I have to go all the way to the end. Okay. okay. In Job 42, in verse 7, it says, It was so that after Yahuwah has spoken these words to Job, Yahuwah said to Eliphaz, which is the same guy that's yeah, speaking, the sure. Temanite, yeah. and this is what Yahuwah says, My wrath is kindled against you and against your two friends, for you have not spoken of me the thing that is right, as right. my servant Job Yohad. So, and then he goes on to talk to him. So I, I feel like they did it. Um, They're speaking lies. Yeah, they they weren't they weren't they they, were, they weren't discerning of, of the voice. The, the, yeah. It's evil spirit. It's, it's, it's definitely an evil spirit. Fear yeah. came upon them. It was, I mean, the whole introduction of this wicked spirit. This, I've heard stories like this too. People are like, yeah. And I'm talking about people who claim to believe in the Bible but live wicked lives. I'm talking about wicked. Oh, I love the Bible. I know the Bible. Yeah, they go to the club and do all types. And they're like, you know, I had an encounter where I was on my bed and I was locked up and I couldn't get up. And Okay, so what are you trying to? I mean, what? No, is, I, 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 felt that I think that's definitely a wicked spirit. Yeah, it's a wicked spirit, but no. But I'm saying these people share it as if they had an encounter with like God or oh, something. No, 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 or no, that's with, a wicked. With, you know, a good encounter. And I'm like, that doesn't prove anything to me. I mean, do you have a message that came with this spirit? If, right. You know, Were you scared? Well, that wasn't good. <laughs> and what was the message? I mean, and if the message don't line up with truth, I, to me, I'm like, well, well. I don't know. That don't sound good to me. All right. I think we're all, yeah. are we all good? Yeah. It's I'm evil con- spirit. I'm convinced that's Satan himself. Yeah, that's uh, definitely uh, <laughs> Satan or one of his minions, but it made the hair stand up on his back, and then all right. he whispers. He said he heard a whisper. Good spirits don't make your hair stand up on your back. <laughs> Not that I know of them, you know. Now, now, whenever a human being sees a, even an angel, even a messenger of Yahuwah, it, you say, don't be afraid. Fear naturally comes upon a human, but that's when the angel says, fear not. Fear not, exactly. That's why I tell I people, come, too. I come in peace. You know, I'm a messenger of Yahuwah. So that's what I see. When this I, one didn't. This one didn't do that. Yeah, this one didn't do that. He's just like, yo, man, your boy he Joe, you wicked, bro. <laughs> All right. Whispering Let's, lies. um... I don't know how much time we have. How long is the next chapter? 27 verses. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Let's end the meeting. (laughs) Let's do it. Let's end the meeting. That was chapter four. Okay, moving. You sure it was four now, right? Yeah, it was four. (laughs)